is going to be the best signing of 2023. Last year, we had Reynolds and Nico Hines. Nico Hines ended up uh, winning the Dally M. So I think that was a pretty good buy from the Sharkies. So let's see if they can win it again. Drop in the comments who you think will be the best buy of 2023. Let's go through them now and um, see if we can try and pick it. All right, so Broncos, you have Reese Walsh. I actually don't think this is a very good buy, but they got him for nothing. They got him for like 400k a year, which is pretty damn cheap for like an above average fullback. Um, he'll definitely have to tidy up his uh, errors if he's going to be buy of the season. Uh, Broncos already have issues there. they are um, got the most players with the most errors in the top 10. So there's a big question mark right here. However, even if he just does his job, they got him so cheap. So that could be good. Uh, Passami. I don't know much about this guy at all. I'm pretty sure he came from Newcastle. Um, solid player, but I don't know about that. But yeah, um, we'll have to wait and see. Reid Marnie, he's going to have to be at the top of my list. Another Parramatta player here, Oregon Kafusi. Pretty much a role player. Um, I don't see him being buy of the year. But um, if they got him cheap, um, should be good. Sean O'Sullivan, to me, I don't know. I don't think he's going to really shine this year. Um, you know, it's Dolphins' first year. And even just watching the Panthers' games when Cleary was out, you could see the difference. I mean, you're going from the best seven in the game to this guy. But there was a dramatic difference. And he played really well. But, yeah, he to me, he definitely looked like a New South Wales Cup number seven. So we'll have to wait and see. Kieran Foran, I think he's going to be really good. To me, though, Kieran Foran's really shone at Manly both times. Um, he's been to other clubs and... I didn't rate his performances there that good, but he was just always so good at Manly. So, um, yeah, but ho hopefully he goes well. I'd love to see Kieran Foran end his career on a positive note. He's a legend. Tuolangi, could be, but I doubt it. Katoa, possibly. What about, um, what's his name? Not Hargraves. Oh, I have to come back to it. Jeez, uh, what's his, no, nah, that's going to kill me. Oh, I can't remember his name. Jackson Hastings, he could be a good boy there. They definitely needed a half. Dylan Walker, the Warriors. I didn't know he was going there. Oh, yeah, he was actually. That That's a pretty good little pickup. He's one of the better 14s in the game. Um, you know what I mean? Comes on, injects a lot of energy, and uh, can play anywhere. James Tarmo, I think that's going to be really good for that young, um, the younger, uh, not Queensland, uh, North Queensland players. He's an uh, old head. He'll get through work. He'll fill in minutes. Solid player, solid dude. Um, Josh Hodgson um, from Parramatta. This this one's interesting. Um, this could be by the year. Obviously filling in Reed Marnie, big shoes to fill. He's a he's a gun player. I really really like him. But he is what thirty three. Just came off a knee, Rico. So we'll have to wait and see. But he, he could be really good if he's um, if he gets good. I guess he doesn't have to do much as long as his service is good. Um, Reed Marnie wasn't uh, a, like what you'd call a running nine. So he's just not going to have to do a ton of running to change. No, he's not going to have to change the way he plays a whole heap. Just give good service to his uh, to his halves and forwards. He should be fine. Um, Luke Garner, don't know much about him. Jai Gray, again, don't know a huge, um, huge amount on the dude. Jacob Little, not bad. Brandon Smith, that's a big one. Um, this could be by the year, but I don't know how they're going to play the dude. It's it's sort of strange. He, he's won Dally M number nine of the year, hooker of the year, and I don't know. I just, I, it's just funny. He, he did it, but I don't feel like he is a number nine. But then the way I would have used to play him is like a running 13, but now the running 13s are now ball playing 13. So I'm really interested to see how the Roosters go, like how they play him. Um, I saw a podcast not long ago, and I think they sort of said, I think the Roosters are just looking to be like a power team, like they're just going to try and blast teams up the middle. So maybe he will just run a lot out of nine, and just they're just going to try and roll through the middle of teams or something like that. <sighs> Dave Clemmer, I think it's a really good boy. Um, I think he's still got a lot to offer. He's not that premier, super, you know, state of origin prop anymore, but he's still got a lot to offer, and um, I don't know what they paid for him, but if it's not a, if it's not much... And um, I'm not too sure how the, the sort of trade swap thing sort of worked. But, um, but yeah, it's, that, that could be a really good buy. Um, you know, they definitely needed someone like him on their team. So, um, got a good pack now, Tigers. They're, they're going to be... Uh, they're going to be hard to handle in the middle. So, yeah. So, let's go out of these. I'd probably say my best buys would be Reed Marnie. 
Oh, who else? I reckon we could finish the shortest one. I've got a question mark over Reese Walsh. He could be. Luke Garner. And Brandon Smith. I think these two, Brandon Smith, Reed Marnie, Reese Walsh, probably look like they could be the best. Um, could be the best buys of the year. But we'll have to keep an eye on this one, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.